Okay, so in our last series of videos, we talked about a hypothetical $4 million business that has a $2,000 lifetime value for its customers. And how we actually figure out how much they can pay to acquire a customer, what we did is we minus refunds, we took out cost of goods sold, we took out overhead, and then we took out desired profitability. And then after all of those costs, we came out with our customer acquisition cost. So in this hypothetical example, we wanted a 30% profit margin for this business. So therefore, our cost to acquire a customer was $200. Now in the previous video, we talked about as this business scales, what can you do as a business owner to adjust maybe your expectations from a profitability and a cost perspective in order to be able to pay more to acquire a customer. So as the old uh, chestnut says, he or she who is willing and able to pay more to acquire a customer wins. That principle is 100% accurate as you scale. And as a high volume uh, paid marketing agency like tier 11, we see this all the time. And this is one of the barriers that we see that comes, uh, that faces a lot of our customers as they get to a level of success. And a $4 million customer uh, is a, has a legitimate business, an offer that resonates with the market. But as that business continues to scale and grow sort of horizontally, by finding new markets, new avatars, maybe even new targeting, new ad platforms in which to scale and grow, they can no longer expect the same profitability, nor can they expect the same customer acquisition cost as they continue to grow. So in our last video, we explained this business as it grew to $8 million in revenue, they had to adjust what their profitability goals were. And as a result, we're then able to pay more to acquire a customer. And as they grew even more up to $12 million, they had to adjust their profitability goals down to 20%, which then allowed them to have a $400 cost per acquisition as they scaled in growth. So let's look at this visually here instead of all the numbers. And I, I encourage you to go back and watch that video uh, on customer acquisition costs and as, as customer acquisition costs and net profitability has to change as a result of that. And that video explains this uh, a whole lot further, but let's look at it visually here. So as this business is a $4 million business, they have a 30% profit margin. So we're just gonna mark uh, the points on this graph to show you visually sort of how this all works. As they grow to $8 million, maybe they lowered their expectation to a 25% uh, profitability goal, which is completely in line. In fact, this is almost a perfect model for tier 11 here as a service-based business, but we see this a lot in our agency as well. And as they scale and they triple their size from 4 million to 12 million, they need to reset that profitability goal down to a lower figure, which is then 20%. So as this sort of looks on our graph, you have a declining net profitability goal or net profitability as a percentage of revenue, which you would say, well, that's not very good. That means they're making less money. Well, in fact, they're actually making more money. The interesting thing is, is as you increase what you're willing to pay to acquire a customer and you slightly lower or alter your metrics for profitability, you can actually make more money, more net in hand dollars, even though it's a smaller percentage. So that's what this axis is for here. So our $4 million company at a 30% profit margin is at $1.2 million in profitability. Okay. Now, pretty good business there. 30% profit on 4 million equals 1.2 million. Now, as you scale and grow, now a 25% profit margin at double the sales at 8 million. Now that looks right here. That's about $2 million in profit. You're lowering your percentage of net operating income, but you're actually in real dollars increasing your profit by a substantial amount. It's about a 30 to 40% increase for only a small decrease in your profitability goals. And last but not least, as they triple in size up to 12 million in our hypothetical example, 
the net profitability is now 2.4 million, which is significantly more than where they were at 8 million, even though their profit goal is now uh, a heck of a lot lower. So as you look at this graph here, real dollars are increasing even though percentage on profitability is decreasing. And what's the most important thing as a business is to create profit. It's not necessarily the percentage number, it's what you actually take home after all your cost of goods sold, after your overhead, after what you pay to acquire a customer to sustain and grow your business in the long term. So hopefully you found that video helpful. Like, subscribe, and share this video, and make sure that you watch the other videos in this series on acquiring new customers, all brought to you by your guide for acquiring new customers and enhancing their long-term value at tier 11, because we believe every online business deserves to be ridiculously successful.